So today we'll be starting the topic 2 into 3 multiplication. It is pretty much similar like the 2 into 2 multiplication, but it's just that we'll add one more digit to the second number or the first number. So I've not made notes for this chapter because this is as similar as the uh, previous uh, topic as well, 2 into 2. So there's no need for the notes as well. So first, like in every topic we do, we'll find out in how many digits our answer will come. So multiplication means what? Repeated addition, right? It is repeated addition, right? So basically, we'll add these two numbers. Two, two plus three is what? Five. So, so most probably our answer will come in five or six digits. Okay, five or six digits. It should come in five, but if it comes in six, that's fine as well because sometimes it exceeds the number also. Okay, understood this much? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now let's take an example. Um, twenty three into 149 okay simple number our answer is supposed to come in five or six digits or it can come in four digits as well but right now it will come in five or six digits only because you know it's a big number right now what we'll do what will be our first step like in two into two multiplication we had two methods right this all in this also we have two methods so i'll tell you both the methods first i'll tell you a bit longer one Okay, and then we'll move on to the smaller one. Not smaller, actually shorter. Okay, so what will be our first method here? To multiply 23, this whole number, by 1, then by 4, and then by 9. So we'll take turns and multiply. So I'll show you. 23 into 1 is how much? 23 into 1 is how much? It's 23, right? 23. But we'll put some zeros behind it, obviously. 23 into 4. How much will it be? 92. So I'll just write the numbers here. I'm not writing it according to the rod. Then 23 into 9 will be how much? 207. Okay. Now I can't possibly add these numbers and get the answer. If I add these numbers and get the answer, it will be 322 something and it is wrong. Obviously, I can't get that answer from this, right? So we'll have to see our rods. Okay. Yeah. This much you understand. We'll have to see our rods. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, this is where the part uh, like in which we take the help of uh, the first step. What was our first step? To find out in how many digits our answer is supposed to come. Now we take the help of that thing. We know it will come in five digits, right? So basically, mujhe ek se start karna padega, fifth rod je. from which rod will I have to start from the fifth rod, right? Because our answer is supposed to come in five digits, right? Understood till now? Yes. We have done nothing. We have just multiplied it all and I haven't written the numbers here. So that I can just tell you it to clarify the concept to you. Okay. Understood? Yes. Okay. Now we have to set the number from the fifth rod. So now how we'll set the number from fifth rod. It's very easy. Give me a minute. So what was our first answer? It was 23 into 149. So 23 into 1 will be what? 23. So we'll set it from our first rod. So it will be 23,000, right? If I take the rods here, this will be ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands, right? So 2300, right? This is zero, not six. Yes. I'll just erase it and write it again. 23,000, right? Then what was the second answer? 23 into 4. So what will it be? 92. So obviously, the rule that we follow, we did it from the fifth rod. Now we'll do it from the uh, fourth rod. So simple, 92. 
zero zero you actually don't need to write zero i am just writing it for you to make you understand you will do it in your mind obviously so you will not write it anywhere you also don't need to remember how many zeros you have to put because it's simple a fifth rod se laga aap se fifth rod set kar if you are setting it from the fifth rod then the other three rods or the two rods will be empty that's for sure so you don't need to think about it that much i'm just writing it for you to understand okay so now we have multiplied it by the first digit second digit now the third digit which is 9 to 23 multiplied by 9 is how much 207 so simple fifth row to set kiya we set it from the fifth row then from the fourth row now from the third row so 207 okay now you just add it all 7 0 4 2 3 3204 32407 is our answer, not 320. I spoke it wrongly. So 32407 is our answer. We got it from the first method. Okay. This method is a bit easier to understand, but it's a longer version of the second method that we'll do. Okay. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Okay. This much you understood. Shall I explain it again? Or another question? No, I'll, yes, I answered this. Okay, very well. So now let's write our question again. Our question was 23 multiplied by 149. You know what? This class is going to be very short because this topic is so easy and so similar to the previous topic. So it's going to be very, you know, uh, it's like a repeated topic for you. Simple. Okay. So we did our first method. First method is done. 